Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Sachs, and I'm here with Teresa Schmidt, nutritional therapist here at Sachs Wellness Center. And today we're going to talk about why you should be in bed by 10 o'clock. So why should we be in bed by 10 o'clock? You know? Well, 10 o'clock, 1030, <laughs> and there's some place. It's, it's, it, this is a topic that comes up pretty often in my rooms. Um, it's important to be in bed and, and, and asleep. For the most part, I mean, it, it gets a little bit earlier and a little bit later, depending on the light, the daylight, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. uh, we'll just go with 11 um, because our body starts repairing and maintaining itself at that time. Mm -hmm. So the examples I always give people are the gallbladder is going to flush at about 11 o'clock. If you're not asleep, it is not happening. Mm -hmm. So it cleans the gallbladder out, flushes the liver and the gallbladder. Um, the adrenals, which... I can't remember the last person that came in that didn't need some adrenal support. Um, the adrenals repair and maintain themselves from 11 to 1. Mm -hmm. So if you're in bed at 12.30 and asleep at 1, you got no adrenal repair that night. Mm -hmm. um, and it goes through the evening, through the night, through circadian rhythm. And the um, large intestine repairs and maintains itself from 4 to 5. So we have to be asleep during that time so that our body can do the healing it's supposed to do. Yeah. You know, it's in, you just made me think of there's It's really interesting. It's not just um, what we've learned about the circadian rhythm and the things in the body, but a long, long time ago, um, acupuncturists, it's like 5,000 years old, made this whole clock of where the energy in our body is and what organ at what time of the day, yeah. you know, and it just follows that, you know, and so... This is a real thing. It's been known a long, mm -hmm. long time. Yeah. yeah. So when we're seeing somebody that's having trouble with stress and, and things like that, they've got to sleep. I mean, we I'm I'm helping them. I'm giving them, you know, uh, supplements to help and we're helping them change their diet and things like that. But one of the areas that a lot of people need work on is the sleep, is your sleep yeah. health. Um, there is no pill. There's to replace no sleep. Mm -mm. There isn't. <laughs> so if, if somebody, uh, you know, is second shift, that's really hard. Third shift, that's mm -hmm. even worse. Mm -hmm. Because that means four or five days out of the week, they're not repairing and maintaining like they should be. So sure. their health over time is definitely going to be, it's going to be different. Yep. It's definitely going to be different. I know. And, and people are aware of it, you know. And I'll, you know, I'll often ask patients that are on second shift or third mm -hmm. shift and they've been doing it for a long time and they say so are you used to it every single one said i don't think you ever get used to it yeah. you know there's something that you can sense just isn't being satisfied yeah. Yeah. yeah that's for sure it's difficult and some people um they don't have a choice they yeah. truly do not have a choice so what do you do well the best you we can do is on the days they can sleep sleep at the mm -hmm. right times you know, don't stay up and watch a movie till 2 o'clock in the morning or anything like that. But then we really, really need to support the adrenals and all the, all those stress glands and all the things that stress causes. Yeah, it's one of the main things. People wonder, why do I have to keep supporting, helping this part of my body, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. This is one of the main reasons. It really is. Yeah. It really is. And um, st just, I mean, I think most of us know... The younger you are, the less this is influential, but most of us, you know, if we miss a night or two of good sleep, we can feel it. Mm -hmm. We can feel it. We don't think as well. We don't focus. We don't concentrate. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to learn something or study something, you can't do it as well by any means. One of the other things that happens while we sleep is our brain, I always call it a filing cabinet, um, <laughs> when we're sleeping, our brain takes the things we didn't learn that day and puts it in the filing cabinet in order mm. so that when you need to retrieve it, you can get it easier. So when we don't sleep, we don't file it, we dump it on the floor. Mm. Then when you need that piece of information, you have to dig through the pile on the floor to find it. Mm. So mm. these are the things that we lose, like lost the word, lost the, the thought. Why am I in the kitchen? <laughs> Can't know why did I go there. Why did I open the fridge? Yeah. But that's why that kind of stuff is worse when we aren't sleeping well. Oh, yeah. So yeah. it affects a lot. It's really important to our health to get our, yeah. our good sleep. And if it goes on for a long period of time, people end up being diagnosed with all kinds of problems, mm -hmm. which could be mental, emotional, psychological, sure. physical. Mm -hmm. 
and really the cause and the solution <laughs> is sleep. sleep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anxiety, depression, a yeah. lot of that comes from not being able to sleep. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we're aware that, you know, hopefully not our country, I don't know, but other countries use sleep deprivation as torture. Mm -hmm. And so that's how important it is that we get that sleep. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Well, one. we hope that this information is helpful for you and that um, you will go to sleep earlier if you yeah, haven't been. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions or anything else we can help you with, then please give us a call, 989-732-7000. You can also reach out through our website, www.saxwellnesscenter.com.